Singapore, the government has accepted recommendations that will see higher monthly wages for security officers and shorter working hours. Over the next three years, security officers will see their basic pay go up by around $300. They will also receive an annual increment of at least 3 per center in the three years after that. As for shorter working hours, overtime, OT, exemptions will be removed for security companies from 2021 onwards. This means that all security officers will be allowed to clock up to only 72 OT hours a month. But the higher basic pay and subsequent annual increments are intended to offset the cap in OT hours. Details of the recommendations were unveiled by the Security Tripartite Cluster, STC, on Thursday, November 23. The recommendations were made in a bid to draw younger Singaporeans to a sector that has seen a growth in demand for security officers with more buildings and infrastructure built, and the rising threat of terrorism. The changes, which follow a review of the progressive wage model in the security industry, will benefit more than 34,000 Singaporean and permanent residents working as security officers here. The progressive wage model is a wage ladder that aims to raise the salaries of low-wage workers through skills upgrading and improvements in productivity. The model is compulsory for companies licensed in the cleaning, security and landscape sectors. It specifies a starting wage of at least $1,100 a month for security officers, with salaries going up to $1,300, and more for those that are higher skilled. Under the progressive wage model, security supervisors are to be paid a starting wage of $1,500. Wages for security officers have risen since 2014, when the model was first launched for the security sector, said STC. It was made mandatory for the security sector in September 2016. Between 2014 and 2016, the median basic wages of full-time security guards grew by 23 per center per annum. In June 2016, the median basic wage of full-time security officers was $1,300. With the changes, Security officers will see a total increase of $300 to basic monthly wages under the progressive wage model by 2021, and a total increase of $285 for those in senior ranks over the same period. Wages should rise by $75 a month in 2019 and the same amount in 2020, followed by a $150 raise in monthly wages in 2021. For those in senior ranks, this will start with a $60 increase in monthly wages for the first two years followed by a $165 raise in monthly wages. Higher increments are recommended in 2021 as that is the year OT exemptions will be removed. The higher increments are to ensure that security officers' gross wages will not be adversely affected due to a reduction in overtime hours, said the STC. While employees are only allowed to clock up to 72 OT hours a month under the Employment Act, employers that require their employees to work past this limit have to apply to the Ministry of Manpower for an exemption. The security sector has the highest average weekly overtime per worker, according to a 2014 report by the STC. Security officers clock as much as 95 hours of overtime each month.